Welcome back to PNK TV. The Kenya Human Rights Commission and Wanjiro Gekonyo, an activist, have filed a petition at the High Court seeking to revoke the appointments of the new cabinet secretaries who took oath of office on Thursday. In their petition, the two parties list several grounds for filing the petition, including arguing that the vetting process that approved the CSS nomination lacked adequate public participation. The two parties also cite integrity concerns as another ground for filing the case. For instance, they point out Cooperative's Cabinet Secretary Wycliffe Oparanya's existing case with the Ethics and Anti-Corruption Commission, EACC, as a case in point. Through a letter dated 31st July 2024, the Director of Public Prosecutions, the EACC, Chief Executive Officer raised integrity concerns about the 20th interested party, Oparanya. The new petition is likely to throw the spanner in the works in President William Ruto's plan to hit the ground running following a wave of disruption caused by the recent anti-government protest. President Ruto has in the recent past asked Kenyans to rally behind his government, citing the formation of the broad-based government as a good reason why Kenyans should get behind him. Speaking in Nairobi on Thursday at the State House, he said, and I quote, I ask citizens of our great nation to give a chance to these great men and women in this new cabinet and to support them to deliver the mandate that has been given to them constitutionally and as they perform their duties to the best interest of our country. End of quote. Well, the head of state has unequivocally thrown his weight behind the new appointees, demonstrating their belief in them. Kenyans don't share the same enthusiasm. When President Ruto dissolved the cabinet after the anti-finance bill protest, many Kenyans welcomed the move as a step in the right direction and a new dawn in Kenya's political landscape that would set the stage for cleaning the rot in the government. However, a few weeks later, President Ruto would move ahead and renominate some of the faces from the old cabinet, much to the chagrin of Kenyans, who disagreed with the move. Most Kenyans felt like the head of state was not sincere in his attempts to change Kenya, and the tinkering was purely cosmetic. Among the big names that made it back to the cabinet were Soipantuya of Defense, Adenduale, of Environment and Climate Change, Ali Swahome of Lands, Kipchumba Murkomen, Youth and Sports, Davis Chilchir of Roads and Transport, Salim Mvuria of Investment and Trade, Rebecca Miano of Tourism and Wildlife, and finally Alfred Mutua of Labor. Ladies and gentlemen, you are now up to date, but what is your view concerning this story? Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and to turn on post notification bell so that whenever I upload a new story, you'll be the first one to get informed. Thank you so much for watching. See you in the next video.